This summer, Dr. Price and I have created a website where people can go on and learn more about different endangered, rare, and threatened species in Maryland and hopefully find new ways to help them as far as planting different plants in your garden. Um, we have an iNaturalist page linked where you can actually go out and take a picture of a certain species, butterfly, moth, bee, just any species, there's no limits on that. And you can actually upload it and have a professional identify it, which will help us to increase the data on where these particular species are being found in Maryland, which all plays into part of adding more and more data to help us and the Maryland Department of Natural Resources because a big thing they do is keep track of all the species in Maryland and figure out what's what's going to need our help soon, what's threatened, what species are vulnerable, and what we need to do in order to help fluff up their habitat and make them flourish. I think people know um, just a little bit of information about all those bad insects out there and all the good insects go overlooked. Um, in particular, the pollinators. So the pollinators are of concern. Um, we need flowers, we need crops, we need all these things. Uh, so it's really important, you know, to save and preserve our pollinators. Well, one thing I really found fascinating was a lot of people don't know that uh, bees aren't the only pollinators. So a lot of people don't even know butterflies are pollinators. So I'm excited to spread more awareness on that aspect, as well as just provide more information out there for Maryland specific species that need help. When one species is struggling, the whole world knows about it, which is really good. And like all the United States will know about like a particular species that needs help. But sometimes you got to bring it local and think about what you can do to really help where you are. And just like helping your local species will eventually help globally as well. I think people think very globally rather than locally, when it would be very beneficial to know which species in our state that we need to help out.